Hello, I'm Asif Farouk of Fenextra, and I'm joined today by Marcus Treacher, Head of Global Innovation for Payments and Cash Management at HSBC and board member of SWIFT. So let's uh, talk about a question that's asked time and time again, which is, what are some of the challenges of implementing ISO 20022? ISO 20022 is a very rich standard and can take a wide range of data. And that means that if we are using it with our clients and trying to adhere to a common standard of ISO 20022, we have to work much harder to ensure that we use fields correctly and if we are going to vary, we do so in a, uh, an intelligent way that has usability in future. And we find that working with the standard um, even though there's much more um, potential, does create more work. We have to be much more engaged with our clients, understand their business more thoroughly, and be able to create richer solutions with richer data than we otherwise would have to do with the older standards, which ISO has replaced. And with all these institutions implementing the standard in their own way, how do you actually deal with this implementation arbitrage? Implementing ISO 20022, as you say, is a challenge because the standard can take so much um, variant of data in, in a single message. How we try and work with that standard at, with, at HSBC with our clients and with our peer banks is to first stick to the, the latest version of the standard, which is currently ISO 20022 version 3, as much as possible. And if we need to be flexible because of a specific need, that the corporate client may have, do so in a way that has longevity and that could actually at some point be become part of the, um, the next version of the standard mm -hmm. and would certainly be applicable to other corporations in the same sector. And that way we can be flexible, we can accommodate change, but attempt to do so in a way that has you know, long-term benefit and uh, long-term value. And with some emerging markets now coming into the scene, how do you deal with the standards on a global level? As, um, as emerging markets emerge, and arguably many, many are emerging very, very rapidly now, the, um, the global standards world will have to work much harder to ensure that common standards are applied globally. So we are no longer in a, you know, an OECD only world. We're in a, um, a much wider community of nations with a wider um, set of needs and areas of focus. And I think with the ISO community um, who drive the uh, 2022 standard, there's a real challenge and um, a real need to do a very good job for the long term in working with a wider community. The danger if, 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 if we don't do a good job in that, in that field is we end up with too many variations you mentioned earlier in the standard which makes things harder for global organisations and international, internationalising organisations mm. to work together efficiently.